Shota will start off with the injury situation at the club. Would you be able to provide an update on Louis Coyle, Aliar and Nathan Baxter? Mm, yes, they're still injured and uh, not ready yet. How far away are those three? I think uh, we still need a week to see how good they are. Any other injuries from Tuesday night's match? Not really, not really, just heavy legs like normal. A clean sheet against Sheffield United. How pleased were you with the defensive efforts of the team? Uh, general, it was a very, very good game. They defensive very hard and work very hard. Effort the boys they show was unbelievable. Uh, with, a, with a great uh, team to play away, always tough. Uh, with with supporters and, and, and uh, last run, if you see them uh, playing, also very good. So I was very pleased to have a point and uh, and get a get a looking for further for the coming games. You were disappointed after Derby. How impressed have you been with the response against Fulham and Sheffield United? Um, I don't think they need me. Uh, the boys are really good on that, and I have to give them a, a lot of credit. And they know how when and it's, uh, sometimes goes, you know, up and down, and uh, and they respond themselves. And of course, uh, I make make the notes that we we can be better on, on the points. I look, we can really improve. So. Uh, it was a good reaction and, and, and I hope to continue that. What have you made of the spirit in the dressing room? It was unbelievable. And uh, in the half time, in the beginning of the game, end of the game, it's something uh, you can build a lot on it. Brandon Fleming has caught the eye with his recent performances. How impressed have you been with, with his displays? I'm happy, I'm happy the boy do, do, do well. So uh, he's playing, he's doing well, as I, I am expected from the others as well, so that's normal when, uh, when players show good performance, they, they train very hard, they train every day, they play three games in seven days, so uh, I think uh, that's, that, that's a thing they have to do it. How much confidence can the players take from that game heading into QPR on Saturday? Definitely, it, 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 that, that gives them a good, a good feeling and uh, it's not easy way games to play especially with, uh, with uh, almost the Premier League teams, you know, and uh, with the squad they have. And uh, it definitely helps uh, boys to keep on. It's another challenging game against the playoffs. Absolutely, every three days it's a challenge again, new, new games, new points. So it never stops, looks like. But uh, that's, that's why they all love football, that's why they, they work so hard. What have you made of QPR as a team? A very solid team also, playing a good football, good, uh, good technical players, uh, play combination, you know. Um, may not have that best run as, as they wish probably, but uh, I see the games very quality player, very quality team. What well, are the biggest dangers? Strikers, some good, uh, good midfielders. You know, and then and, and some individuals who, which can decide the games themselves. So that's always dangerous in opposite side. But end of the game, end of the day, it's like a, the team who played probably last two years together also, and they know each other well. And then holding a ball a little bit longer, short short passes, you know. So uh, good team.